This episode of the Basel Journal, we talk about our final water adventure in Cancun. Whale sharks. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so come with us as we talk about that adventure. I know you're probably thinking, Chuck, that doesn't look like Cancun. That looks like your backyard. <laughs> That's very observant of you because it is our backyard. I hear goats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's because we forgot to record the intro and the outro and the voiceover stuff in Cancun about the whale sharks. Actually, we didn't really forget. If you remember from our last dive video, it was already hot and humid and we could barely stand it. So we wait until now and... And it's even more hot and yes. humid <laughs> in Florida. Uh, although our concrete is not slick and wet like it was in Cancun. No. So we started our whale shark dive uh, at the same place, uh, Cello Baseo. We get there and they told us, we were, I can't remember the time we were supposed to be there, but we couldn't launch right away because the, the harbor master had closed the harbor because of... Well, they were waiting to see if it was going to be open because there was a storm. There was a storm coming in, so there was waves and stuff like that. So they kind of made us wait. And then after probably about 20 minutes or so of waiting, we, they knew that we already had to go pick up three more couples on the other side of the bay. And you could travel inside the bay, you just couldn't go outside the bay until they gave you clearance. Mm -hmm. So we just decided to go ahead and hop in the boat yeah. and, and, well we didn't, Solo Baseo did. Yeah. And get in the boat and go to the other side to pick up those people hoping that you know sometime in that process they would open up and we can go swimming with the whale sharks so we get in the boat and we start motor boating across the, the bay and about halfway the guy the harbor, master called, called. The, the harbor master called and said it is open so it was like yes <laughs> yep because we were worried because we only had two days left in cancun and wanted to make sure that we got to swim with the whale sharks so we um Got very wet on the ride over. We encountered some dolphins. Well, no, no, hold on. No, no, no. We didn't get wet going over because oh, no, we were sitting that's on. Right. We were sitting on the. Okay, I'm not. I wasn't in the navy. We were sitting on the left side of the boat. Maybe you can put in a comment below what the name of that yeah. is. I don't remember. We were sitting on the left side of the boat, and it was funny because as the boat was going across, all the waves when it was breaking over the boat was coming down on the right side yes. of the boat. And the we other were, two couples got well, but, soaked. But, yeah, but it was actually wasn't it three? Two. It was a husband and wife and one of their parents. Okay. So yeah, so they got soaking drenched <laughs> because the water come over and splash, mm -hmm. splash on them. So we get out and we motor around for probably, it seemed like, I don't know, six or seven days trying to find <laughs> the whale sharks. We kept trying to spot them because they wanted to give us what we thought the whole experience was going to be. They, they wanted to give us, you know, that personal, just us and the whales right. and not a whole lot of people around at first, but we couldn't find any that were isolated. So, and it was kind of, it wasn't, it wasn't really that many days. It was just, it was probably maybe an hour of motoring around trying to find them. Cause they, like she mm -hmm. said, she wanted, they, they wanted us to find the whale sharks by ourselves so we can kind of enjoy them by ourselves. And the, uh, and the- and But the dolphins came up and swam with us on the way. Yes, they did. They, 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 <laughs> they swam with us and played with us and, and the whole entire time was kind of fun. Get away from your net. Um, Stop. Florida life. Florida life. Yeah, hashtag <laughs> Florida life. And uh, so we, the the so there's two people. There was the there was the the boat captain who drove the boat, and then the other guy who acted as the spotter. Mm -hmm. He literally got on the top of the roof of the boat and was watching for the what because you could see further out and stuff. Mm -hmm. And after traveling around for, I guess about an hour, they couldn't find anything. And then over the radio, we heard somebody say, "Whale shark! Whale shark! Whale shark!" So then we thought, then we didn't decide, but the boat captain motored over yeah. to um, where they were. And by the time we got over there, there were already about 15 tour boats there. Um, yeah, 15 tour boats times at least 10 people per boat. And only two divers were allowed in at a time. Per boat. Per boat. Right. And, um, you know, there were rules and things, but it was, it was very hectic for us and... It wasn't the experience that I wanted. It wasn't Solo Bisea's fault. Right. Um, they tried their best to find us, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. Right. Um, but 
it, it was a cool experience because we got to see how large they were. Huge. <laughs> and, um, but I probably won't do that again. So the, here's how that works. So you, you, you motor boat around once, once they find the well circle. Well, how our day went. I don't know if it works yeah. this way for, for everybody, but the way our day went. So we motored the boat around until we saw a shark that was within, because the boat could only get within 100, 100 meters or 100 feet. I don't remember. I, I don't remember. It was allowed to get in so close, and you as a swimmer could only get so close as well. Mm -hmm. So they would, you would you literally have your snorkel on and your uh, mask on, and she's sitting on the edge of the boat. And fins on, fins ready, on to ready to go. go, and then as soon as the captain's, you know, when you spot one, they say go, go, and go, jump go. In. and you don't ask questions, <laughs> you just whoosh, you jump in and start swimming, and you swim as hard and as fast as you can go, and you you swim and you swim and you swim and you swim. Um, humans don't swim as fast as whale sharks. No. no, no, and they look way more graceful in the water than we do. And what you're looking for, the whale sharks when they feed, they actually go up right in the water kind of right um, so they hover there and they open their mouth and all the plankton goes into their mouth it just pours in it's the most I guess energy efficient way for them to do that without wasting a lot of energy swimming around right. to get these fish so you're looking for that whale shark that's slowing down and feeding and and then you swim up beside it yeah so, and, uh, so with the way that the way our boat worked was I think we went first yes so Barbie and I went first with the with the guy who, who was our swim master i guess for a better <laughs> for better lack of a term yes. and he would jump in i tell you what that little guy could swim boy yes. let me tell you because he'd get in and he'd be like <laughs> and I, I'd, I'd look at barbie see where she was and I look back and he was He's like gone. <laughs> he was like 70 feet away from me i was like what so you had you just by the time you got to the whale shark you were too tired to keep up with the whale shark you really were and you'd swim out there and then if you were lucky enough you got to see closely mm -hmm. and then when your turn was up you'd swim back to the boat and then the next couple would go in. Yeah, because the whale shark would eventually get tired of you being there and he'd swim on off to go or he'd get Why's it gotta be a he? I don't know it was a she. Could be a she. Or they get their fill of all the fish that were there and they're going to find the next right. feeding spot. Right. So as soon as they went away and you weren't beside them anymore, then you go back to the boat and it's the next two people's turn. Right. Then uh, and I tell you, it's, it's a challenge to get in the boat. Oh yes. When the when you're in probably about <laughs> two or three foot swells, and you know the boat's going up, it's coming down, it's going up, it's coming down. All I have to say is thank God for fins, and you kind of time it, and when it's down, you kick and you go up it as was, much as you can. It was all. And then they help pull you. It in. was all about the time and getting back <laughs> in the boat. It really was. And then, uh, so we went in, you know, so they went around the cycle several times. Mm -hmm. There was the, the older couple, I guess the parents, I didn't realize it was the yeah. parents. They decided not to go, so it was just me and the other couple, us and the other couple. Mm -hmm. I still think there was another set of people there. Mm -hmm. I think there was, I think there were six people. Yeah. And uh, so they, they would go in and do their dives. And then finally, um, the, the lady for the other couple wanted to go in one more time, but her husband didn't want to go in. So somehow Chuck got volunteered to, <laughs> to, to go in with her. And uh, so I did that and swam back. And, and you know, the whole entire time, I mean, we got close to the sharks. And by the way, they are absolutely enormous. And they're beautiful. And they're beautiful, absolutely. Because remember, we're, the biggest thing we've seen to, to this point were manatees, a full-grown mm -hmm. manatee, which is 14 feet and roughly about 1,200 pounds, yeah. which is pretty big when you're in the water with it, swimming right next to it. And these whale sharks was, were easily four times as large, maybe even five times as large. And, and but oh my God, they were beautiful. So, you know, first, you know, first three or four times when we got in the water, we were, we were lucky if we got within 20, 30 feet of them because they were just kind of, they were, they, as we were getting to swim, they were kind of already starting to swim off and stuff. And so we did get some, some footage that's, that's not quite as good as I'd really like it because you're, you're really trying to swim to catch up to it and follow this yeah. guy and watch where the other boats are and make sure that they don't run you over and, 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 and you're trying to film and do all this stuff at the same time. And uh, so then we are, and, and it's exhausting, mm -hmm. swimming fast and hard and furious in the, uh, to, in the water mm -hmm. and to get to the, where the shark was. And then the last time, they, we, we, I don't remember who the last of the people was came on the boat. We're all kind of sitting there uh, and we all just, all of us are just whipped. And I'm getting seasick at this point because the in and out, I get motion sickness. So I had taken my Dramamine 
and was watching the horizon, but the boat is doing this and you're spinning around in circles and yeah. <laughs> you're jumping off and getting back in and getting beat by the waves and it was starting to get Yeah, to so me. she was getting sick. The other people, like I said, they never got into the water. And then the other couple that did get in the water, you could tell. They were tired. They were tired. They, I, they were probably a little bit older than us, I think, maybe, maybe in their late maybe. 60s, early 60s. Not that that means anything, but they were just, they were whipped. And uh, so then the swim master, you could tell he wasn't done yet. He's yeah. wanted to go again. But this guy does this for a living. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, we're. He was excited though. I, we're desk he jockeys. He was excited for us, which yeah. is, which is cool. Yeah, we, we're desk jockeys, <laughs> right? We're not, and, um, and like I said, he would, he would get in the water and he would just kind of float there, just kind of, you know, bob around. Then he'd go, I mean, foosh, and then mm. gone. And uh, so he was excited and he, he's like, Okay, he wants to go one more time, one more time. And he went to the other couple and I'm like, no, 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 not us. And, and I was done. And they looked at us and Barbie was done. I'm like, I didn't want to, but I didn't want to say no either. So we, I said, okay, one more time. And then, uh, so we put on the mask and we're kind of boating around and Barbie and the other couple were, were watching for the sharks. There's and then, time, then they, they spot when they go, shark, <laughs> shark, shark. And, and then all of a sudden, you know, then, then uh, he jumps off, I jump off. And we get in, and that is the best footage we got for the entire day. It was that very last yeah. one. You, you got I, it coming towards yeah. you and going and, past you. And yeah, I mean, and, and I, I was probably within maybe eight to ten feet of it. And because he was swimming out, and I was kind of swimming up alongside, so we're, I was kind of catching up to him barely because he wasn't really trying hard, or she wasn't trying hard. And then as I was, as I was getting really good footage, really good footage, and then all of a sudden one of the swimmers from one of the other boats cuts me up and swims right in front of me. It's like, where, where's, the, where's, the, where's the etiquette, the filming etiquette? You see somebody filming, don't swim in front of them. It's like when you're in an amusement park and you see somebody taking a picture of their Stop family. Or walk don't walk in them. between them. <laughs> they weren't paying attention, obviously. Nah, st stupid gringos. They were looking at the... <laughs> they were looking oh, by the way... I think we so, resemble that remark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, uh, and I'm sorry, the gnats are flying all around me. but And it's funny because at, on our first day there, we found out that um, we were checking in and, and I told him, you know, our name was, was, you know, Charles and I, he, Barbie, I don't know why he called me Charles. Somebody called me Charles. Cause that's guy, what was on your card. Oh yeah. Card on my dive card. In, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and he goes, Oh, Carlos. Carlos. So Ooh, for the Bobby. entire, so, <laughs> so for the rest of the week, my name was Carlos the whole entire time, which is fine by me. I'm okay with that. Yeah. So it was, a, it was a really, it, it was a. It was a life-changing experience. It didn't go down as the way that we th really would have liked. We were, we had envisioned, you know, just us the on the boat. The magical moment. Yeah, us being in the water with this one or two with nobody else around and it being curious. Actually, we just saw yes, some footage yes. uh, um, Gone with the Winds. Where the whale's looking at but, you and you're looking at the whale and there's this connection that's made. Yeah, yeah. So, so Gone with the Wind, <laughs> another one of the channels that we watch, they are sailing around the earth right now they're in French Polynesia mm -hmm. and they came across some hump whales humpback whales, humpback whales. Mm -hmm. and so the footage that they have I'll put a link in the description below the the, the the experience they had was what we were kind of looking for but it's the advantage of having your own boat that's exactly <laughs> exactly and so we didn't have that that experience but we still had a great experience yes. and we still got to see them and you know check yeah now we got to do is uh, see a turtle that's the only thing we're missing I'm sure an octopus we haven't well, seen but the, well, but the things that we wanted to see that trip oh, were yeah, yeah. a shark, we a turtle, didn't see and a turtle. Whale that was the only thing. So that's the only thing we didn't see, and that's not their fault. No. It's just nature just... wasn't in the cards. Nature just... They, it, she does what she wants to do. <laughs> she doesn't care about your schedule or your no. vacation. No. You know, so we had a blast. Again, we highly recommend Solo Baseo. We'll put a link to them in the as, description as below. As well. And we they did not pay us to say this. We just had that great of an experience yeah. with Solo Baseo. Next time we're booking a private whale shark dive. Can you book a private one? I don't know. know. Oh. <laughs> That'd probably be expensive. I don't know. Yep. We'll see. Until next time, go live your story. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs>